hello friends um, in this video i will show you how to create a quickly setting out with the help of corridors uh, well setting out is a huge target when you have a uh, uh, long corridors, uh, two kilometer, three kilometer, and you have to give the point on every 10 meter interval, and you have to give the crown point or edge of carriageway point or footway points. Uh, it will be a huge task to click uh, to uh, click all the points and to uh, do the setting outs. Well, the corridor have function when you can quickly generate the points and you can show the labels to them and you can do your quickly setting out so here I have one corridor uh, right now you can see that frequency is not exactly now I want at my uh, uh, setting out point at 10 10 in a meter interval so first thing I need to do is go to the corridor and set my frequency to 10 meter so I'm going to 10 10 10 on the curve 10 meter spiral 10 meter and then I give horizontal geometry points to know if you want the point over there you can click yes if you don't click no super elevation no profile geometry point no high and low point no and you can click OK so now I frequency at every 10 meter interval can again recheck that mm, 10 10 sorry one thing is left 10 yes so I have frequency now on 10 meter now you select the corridor here you give the have options and on lunch pair you go and you have option point from corridor so you click here and then you can select which point you want uh, for your setting out so you select those I am just selecting uh, edge of my carriageway and my crown point for the moment and here you can give all those points in one group so later on if you are hide, uh, need to hide those points or uh, you need to change something style or everything it will be in uh, one group and here you can select whether you want for entire corridor or you want for specific changes also and you hit OK and you can see how quickly it generated the points at every 10, 10 meter interval So it gives the point code, it gives you label, it also gives you point number, and all the point comes in the point groups. So later in the, on, you have to change anything, you can change your point. You need to hide, uh, you need to show, you need to change the property, uh, you need to set out a uh, point style or anything. You can quickly do this for every point with one command. Thank you, thank you for watching this. Hello friends, in this video I will show you another corridor tricks and the trick is feature line from corridor. Well from corridor you can create dynamic feature line. The, the dynamic feature line will change with the, your uh, change in the corridor. So as a corridor you need to rebuild or you need to change your profile levels and you rebuild your corridor. Your feature line levels automatically update and the use of the dynamic feature line most uh, uh, you will need when you create the junctions or you target something uh, to the corridor and you want your uh, levels to automatically update and that time the dynamic feature line is very useful uh, tool now as you can see here I have one corridor and uh, if I create the junction over here I need something here for the target purpose and if I uh, create alignment and profile 
So every time I have to change my profile level here to match with my corridor. So what I can do where I can change my center line level and update my corridor and directly those levels will be updated. Well, that's where the dynamic feature line will be useful. Now let's see how we create that. Uh, so you can select your corridor and here is the option for feature line from corridor. You can click that. Now here it gives you the uh, option, three options. Once you create the feature lines for the entire corridor or you can create feature line for your particular region and you can create one polygon and create feature line for that only. So what I do need right now for the junction that I need the feature line only for this sections. Uh, because I don't want to create too many feature lines. So there is also a useful function that you don't need to create too many feature line. You just create the feature line whatever you need. So what I go, I go by region. And then you need to select the region. So I click that region or anywhere in the region. And you hit enter. So now in this region, whatever the feature line it will show you now you have to uh, it gives you option to choose the feature line which you need so what i do i just deselect all and only select feature line which i use i need the edge of carriageway on the right side so here my edge of carriageway on the right side so i only select that now here are all the options uh, you can go to the settings and you can see the dynamic link uh, if you don't want it to be dynamic, you can remove this. You can also give the course style or naming or everything for this feature lines. And you can OK. And here you can extract your feature line. So once done, now you can see. I just created a feature line for my particular region. And as my level of corridor will change, this feature line will automatically update. Also, if I change my corridor region, increase it, you can see the dynamic feature line is also increased. So there is no need of creating another feature line or extending the feature line or again giving the levels. With the help of the corridor, you can create dynamic feature line where you can increase your length with the uh, change in the region of the corridor and uh, you can change the levels with just change of the corridor. So it's very helpful too when you create your junctions. As you can see, it changes quickly. And you can anytime delete this, your corridor will not affect by this unless you have a uh, junction. Thank you. I will show you one more tricks uh, in the corridor. Well, you can create your alignment from the corridor. Uh, yes. Well, generally, if I need um, uh, alignment on the edge of the carriageway or on the footway or on the curb top, I need to create a, one more alignment or I need to extract the polyline or create the polyline and then bring the levels and everything again. So. Here there is one other option uh, given in the corridor that you can dynamically uh, you can create your alignment directly through the uh, corridor feature lines. Uh, it is required when you need to quick calculate or something or you need to see quick checks of levels or you need to modify certain levels or uh, for the footway of the curve or anything. So in that regard, you can quickly generate your alignment from the corridor and you can quickly modify that. So let's see how we can do that. So once I select my corridor, here it gives you alignment from corridor. So you select that. Now it asks you to select your corridor feature line where you need your alignment. Suppose I select this here, I need the alignment. And here you can see that alignment created. And here now it gives the option whether you need a profile for that alignment or you don't. If you need the profile for that same, you can create the profile also. So you hit OK. And you can select your profile style as well and click OK. So here you can see the one alignment created 
very quickly on your footway so in this way you can quickly create your alignments on the edge of footway or on the edge of your verge or curb edge or wherever you need and also you can generate profile for that so i select alignment and i go to surface profile join profile view and you can see the profile the levels are also here here you can also modify your levels if you want and that way you can modify the levels as well from the corridor i will show you one more tricks of the corridor well you can create profiles from your corridor and you can put that profile in your main alignment and you can see how much you are raising your profile or lowering or you can compare your center line with your edge alignment or footway top or cup top and you can check uh, how those levels are work out and you can put all those levels in your one profile with the help of uh, corridor profile options well uh, here i have a corridor if i select this my corridor and here in lunch pad you can see there is option profile from corridor so if you go to corridor and you need to select one feature line so suppose i select feature line of my edge of carriageway and here it will give you the option that uh, it is going to be on my center line of the corridor and you can select any style or anything and you can hit enter and you can see now in the profile there is another profile has created this profile is from the corridor so here you can compare your levels also you can show in one profile your age levels your footway levels or everything uh, if i go one more time and i select one more profile go to lunch pad create profile from corridor and if i want level of here of this point so i select this and click okay and i check my profile and here is so here i can show my earthwork level as well on 10 10 meter that this is how my earthwork profile looks or you need to give your earthwork levels here so you can give your earthwork level by this options so your footway level your earthwork level your curb level everything you can show on your proposed profile with this options thank you hello friends uh, welcome back uh, in this video i will show you another tricks of the corridor when you can generate polyline from your corridor uh, the use of the corridor when we extract the corridor the feature lines will be broken and uh, they are not proper and then you have to convert and everything so how to quickly do the presentation model from the corridor well you can select the corridor and you can go in the launch pad and create polyline from corridor and then whatever the polyline you need to show in your presentation model you can quickly generate from here so suppose i need this i need this i need my center crown i need my edge of carriageway and edge of footpath or edge of daylight point and now if i hide my corridor you can see the all the feature lines or uh, 3d polylines are created and that polyline you can use for your presentation model so in this way you can you don't need to extract the corridor or export the corridor and wait for that you can quickly generate the 3d polyline from the corridor you can use that for the target or use that for your presentation model 
and uh, and that's why how you can quickly generate you don't need to export and again if you change your corridor what you need you just need to again uh, extract the uh, polyline from the corridor thank you thank you for watching this